Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth so viewer discretion is advised but if you're not into that or weird shit in general this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here. No harm, no foul. But I'll remember our time fondly. Y'all! Colourpop made their first multi-chrome. I know. I can't believe it either. And I'm so excited to talk about it because I have some thoughts. There are a lot of thoughts in this video. But uh, before I do that and show you how I created this overall look and such, I want to talk a little bit about this collection. So this is the Legend of Korra collection collection. I don't know what this is. <laughs> it's the last airbender or something like that. I don't know. When this came out, I was, I don't know how old I was. I was old though. I was old and I didn't, I don't know. I don't know what this is. So this, I don't have any like feeling of like, oh, nostalgia. Like I don't have any of that. This could be literally fucking nothing and it would be like, uh, who cares? So the reason why I was so excited about this collection is because Colourpop is creating their very first, very, very first multi-chrome and that is very exciting because it's about goddamn motherfucking time. So let me tell you a little bit about each piece of this collection and then I'm going to show you how I did this and then I'm going to give you my garbage thoughts on this. Starting with the eyeshadow palette. Welcome to the Republic City. Based on the elements with this must-have palette, the Legend of Korra shadow palette retails for $24. Each shade features our ultra-pigmented blendable formula that's long-wearing and applies evenly in matte, metallic, matte sparkle, and super shock finishes. The next product are the multi-chromes. The Four Elements Chrome Liquid Shadow Set retails for $48 if you buy the whole set, or they're $13 a piece. Make a statement with our first ever multi-chrome high impact liquid eyeshadow packed with color shifting ultra reflective pearls for bold effect. In just one swipe it delivers a multi-dimensional chrome finish that's long lasting and shifts with every angle of light for a mesmerizing multi-layered look. First shade is water. It shifts from blue, violet, and teal. Fire. It shifts from bright copper to gold to green. Air. It shifts from red, copper to olive green. And earth which shifts from gold, green to terracotta. The next product is the Graphic Ink Liner Set. Try to say that 10 times fast, it's impossible. Anyway, <laughs> this retails for $18, but each one separately is $10 a piece. Just shake, line, and go. Korasami is a denim blue. The next shade is Heart to Heart, which is a deep, warm burgundy. I'm gonna stop right here. So I'm kind of filming this clearly out of order, right? I will say that the Heart to Heart shade, I thought was brown. I laugh that it says deep warm burgundy. It's fucking brown. <laughs> I don't know what they're smoking, but it's brown. Yeah, it's brown. What are you talking about? It's brown. Okay, anyway, let's move on to the next product. And that's the Fur Besties Lip Set. This retails for $18, but you can buy each one separately for $10 a piece. Partner in Crime is a deep wine red, and Loyal Friend is a soft warm nude. And last but certainly not least, we have a highlighter. Spirit Wilds is a super shock highlighter that retails for $14. Get an otherworldly glow with our bouncy silky highlighter and a stunning rainbow tie-dye finish for the first time ever. Weightless and buildable, its buttery soft texture effortlessly blends into the skin for an ultimate glimmer and glow. The color is a warm golden pinky champagne. Now the whole collection retails for $131, but if you want it, you can pick it up for $118. All the links of every product, whether you can get them individually or in the set, will be listed in the description box. So peruse at your leisure. But with that said, let me show you how I created uh, this overall look. All right, so the first thing we're going to try is the... This is such a cute box. It's so cute. I don't even know what this is. I don't even care, but the box is cute. And look at these little guys. They're so sweet. Okay. <laughs> this is a super shock highlight. Oh my god. Are you kidding me right now? Look at his little face. Oh my god. They're so sweet. And he looks so derpy. <laughs> He's just like, oh my god. I love this. So let's see, is this going to be, ooh, all right, sparkle motion. This is like a little swirly do. Very pretty. Now, is it going to work for me? That's the question. So I'm going to go in with a nice, clean fan brush. And we're just going to just swirl it around, swirl it around, because I kind of have a feeling that this gold is kind of more of like an overspray, but we're looking pretty good. Uh, yeah, it's an over, okay, that's a, okay, that's an overspray, yeah. I'm just gonna, just kind of massage it with my finger. This is what it looks like when you fuck up the pan. It's not terrible. This is very gold, though, and I fear that that's, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit too dark, so. I, fuck, 
I wanted this to work for me, but I don't think it's going to, but we're gonna try it anyway. So I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit of that fan brush. And I mean, it's, it's glitter. It's, it's glitter. That sucks. <laughs> It, uh, that fucking, uh, ha, ha. not a fan. All right, I'm just gonna go in with my finger. Oh, oh, that's, yeah, yeah, this is a no. Yeah, no, no. It's a fine highlighter, you know, but it's just, it's gold and it's a lot of sparkle. Yeah, ugh, I don't like it, not a fan. It sucks because I love the Super Shock formula. This is just purely a preference of color. I'm mad because the case is adorable, but if you are uncooked chicken like myself, uh, it's just gonna be a gold stripe on your face and there's nothing you can do about it. So go cry somewhere else. Uh, <laughs> but this kind of sucks though. It doesn't really pick up super great with a brush. I kind of feel like a finger is probably the best way to get it on. So I just gotta match the side just a little bit. It looks like one side's super Super intense. Yeah, nah, not for me. Okay. Uncooked chicken does not pass. <laughs> it is fucking gold on my face. You know, wait a second. Hold on, hold on. I wanna, hold on. I'm gonna take the same brush that I applied my blush with just to see if I can kind of go over it a little bit. Maybe it doesn't necessarily look like a stripe is sitting on my face. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's not terrible. Maybe I was being a little too harsh. Maybe I'm being a little too harsh, but there is a slight cast and it's super sparkly. So if you do not like a lot of sparkles, you are not gonna like this. You're not gonna like this at all. You know what it is? It's like somebody took craft glitter, gold craft glitter, and was like, hey, I hear you like highlighter, and just fucking assaulted your face. <laughs> That's what this feels like. That's what this looks like. Not a fan. It sucks because I like the Super Shock formula. It's just, I don't think this color works for Uncooked Chicken. Anybody else, I'm sure it'll be fine. But if you are a ghost like me, it's not gonna work for you. It's just gonna look like gold sparkle bullshit on your face and nobody got time for that. Anyway, let's move on to the eyeshadow palette. So this is what she looks like. And I mean, not gonna lie, but like, I really love the presentation of this. I think it's so pretty. And I really love the fact that ColourPop is making, I guess, more like these book type palettes. I just think that's so cute. And it's definitely a welcome change from the brand considering all their palettes are, you know, pretty much this way. It's nice to be able to do this. I don't mind the color story. Now, I don't know shit about this fucking show. I don't know, I don't care. I, I'm, I'm too old for this, but this is just kind of like a standard rainbow palette. Yep, yeah, pretty much a standard rainbow palette. You know, it's fine, it's fine. You know, it, it is what it is. I'm not gonna really focus on the shimmers in this one, which I will say, they're like, eh, it's not really giving me life. Although there is a super shock formula in here, which is making me very happy. See, that's what I wanted for the highlighter. That would have been an amazing highlighter, but I digress. The shimmers are definitely on the thinner side, but I wanna use those fucking moldy chromes really badly because I have a feeling they're not gonna be good. So I'm just going to use a couple of the matte shades in this palette, and then we're really just gonna highlight the multi chrome. And of course, I will do another video or whatever kind of featuring this palette more, but this becomes an afterthought when they finally release their first multi-chromes. I'm sorry, it is what it is, but it's like, I don't give a shit what else you release. You said multi-chromes, I'm listening. So that's kind of where we're at here. So I'm gonna use a little bit of the Tone Activator Primer that I love from Kaleidos. And I'm gonna do two different eye looks today because I wanna try to use the multi-chromes as much as humanly possible. I have not swatched anything. I'm going in blind and I'm so goddamn I'm excited. <laughs> Now, here are the little multi crumbs. I figured let's just kind of see what we're working with. Ooh, ooh, that looks cool. Oh, I'm sorry. That actually doesn't look too fucking bad. So we kind of have like the standard, you know, magenta, yellow, green doohickey. That one is called Fire. Then we have Earth. Oh my God, is this like fucking Captain Planet? <laughs> So that's how old I am, kids. Oh, okay, this one's a little bit thinner, not as opaque, but okay. Hmm, all right. This one kind of has that lavender to green flip. So far, the first one is just the most jeweled. That one feels very, very light. We're gonna move on to air. If it's not Captain Planet, it's the fifth element. Am I the fifth element? Am I the supreme being? Okay, this one is better. This one is not as sheer as the second one. Air is looking really good. Kind of has like that copper green flip. And then of course we have water, which water looks really good as well. And water is everything I want it to be. My favorite type of multi-chrome, that kind of purple into teal. Beautiful. Okay, so we're definitely gonna be using water. It's kind of a toss up between air and fire. Although I feel like I should try that little baby multi-chrome over here. I don't know, maybe we'll try 
try the green actually. You know what? We're gonna figure this out. <laughs> We're gonna figure this out. But the first one I definitely wanna try, you know what, no, 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 no. We're gonna do the one that did not swatch well. Cause I wanna see, I wanna see if that one's gonna be good or not. Maybe the swatch is bad and maybe it's actually really good. That one is Earth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the greens in this palette, which are pretty much just these two bad boys here. And uh, I'm gonna use those two and then I'm gonna put this shade all over the lid. Let's see how that works. I'm gonna go in with the shade Earth Bending, which is the darker green. It's kind of like a nice forest green, very powerful but incredibly pigmented so we love that okay that laid down pretty good now I'm gonna go in with the shade mover star and I'm just going to blend that from the crease above definitely like a kind of light pastel -y spring green which is really pretty blending very very beautifully with that deeper green I'm gonna go back in one more time with earth bending just to deepen it up in the crease god my fucking art I'm telling you my body hurts <laughs> just <laughs> Oh, we keep doing these arm circle things and they just, it, it hurts so goddamn much. And fucking kettlebell, oh my God. All right, stop being a bitch, keep going. I know one day working out will be easier. <laughs> just right now, not so much. Right now, my arms feel like they're about to fucking fall off. It's okay though, it's okay. I'm noticing just like kind of patchiness with the screen. So I'm just trying to see if maybe it's just a me thing. I think it might be a me thing. I think maybe I'm not adding enough right there. So far we're looking pretty good. I'm just gonna go back in with no additional product. Yeah, yeah, there's a little bit of patchiness. Um, Fuck. All right. So it's just, I'm not sure if you see it, but right there, it's like kind of like skipping a little bit. Might be a shade that you just kind of uh, pack on and you leave it be. Don't try to do too much blending because it is just gonna fucking start skipping. Like it's as if it's skipping rocks on a fucking lake and you just see the goddamn ripples. Like, what is this? Why does eyeshadow do that? Right, I think this is as good as we're gonna get it. Can't blend it out too much. I'm just going to, I'm not gonna take any more additional product, but I'm gonna take that brush that I had the lightest green on and just really blend out above way way above the crease so we don't have to deal with any issues but yeah you see it's like it's like a dark line right there what the fuck is that about all right I'm gonna stop there. Now what I wanna do is I kinda wanna take, oh, let's see, what is that pro bend? No, ew, no, I don't want that pro bend to show that's stupid. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that earth bending shade and I'm just gonna kinda drag it down to the outer corner just to give a little bit of dimension there. And then I am going to apply that multi-chrome all over, well, three quarters of the lid, I should say. Before I do that, I wanna take a clean blending brush. Yeah, that's that, that dark shade's patchy as fuck. Yeah. Yeah, you see it's like right there. That is unfortunate. Okay. 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 All right. Let me go back in with the mover star to see if I can, I don't know, blend. If I can blend that out. I think this is the best that I'm going to get it. Otherwise, I'm going to be sitting here all fucking day and I don't got time for that. So let's go in to the earth shade. Kind of want to see if I just apply it directly to the lid what happens and i mean it is pigmented i'll give them that it is pigmented so i'm just gonna take a small brush and blend that out do a little bit more product you know what let's try it i feel like the brush is kind of picking up some of the product so i'm just going to kind of tap it on with my fingers the first thing i want to say right off the bat i have no eye irritations this is amazing <laughs> Usually when it comes to liquid multichromes, because my eyes are super sensitive, it either waters up immediately or it just feels like my eyeball fell out of my head. I'm not getting any sort of burning sensation, which is fan-fucking-tastic. Now, in terms of longevity, now that's a different question. But so far, so good. I'm going to take a really, really thin brush just because I have hooded eyes. So you can see that it's kind of going a little bit. You see that it's kind of sticking to the top there. I'm just gonna paint that there. And then I'm gonna kind of slowly put it on the center to get rid of any bald spots. You know, honestly, so far so good. Holy shit, did they actually fucking do it? Did they really do it? I think they really did it. God damn. God fucking damn, I, oh my God. So I'm just gonna kinda just let this chill out for a minute. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the earth bending shade in the corner, just to give it a little bit of uh, dimension. You know what? I talk a lot of shit. <laughs> I talk a lot of shit and I am, fu fuck, dude. I am so glad I did this one. This one looks good, bitch. This looks really good. Oh my God. Wow. All right, I'm just going to kind of just clean it up just a little bit over here. I am fucking impressed. The thing that really impresses the shit out of me is the fact that I didn't need to have to put 
something down in the lid. Yes, I put something in the crease and the outer corner, but for my lid, I wanted to keep that pretty bare. And all I had used was the Tone Activator Primer. Didn't even put glitter glue down. I have tried so many liquid multi-chromes where they just come off watery and thin and patchy and no matter how much you build up, it never looks right. This is after like maybe two or three coats. You could totally apply it with this and it's pretty good opacity. But because I have hooded eyes, I don't have a lot of real estate, I really need to look for a brush. I tried using a synthetic brush, it didn't work out very well. But when I use a natural hair brush, it really, really, really was able to kind of spread out the product super evenly. I fucking love this. I cannot believe I'm saying this. This is exceeding my expectations. I was sure as shit that this was going to be bad. I thought it was gonna be hot, meaning I was gonna have a spicy butthole reaction. But no, this is so comfortable. It feels like, literally feels like nothing is on my face. This is fantastic. Run, do not walk. This is fucking good. You know, this little guy, this little earth shade, I thought it was gonna be bullshit. This looks like a mutant dream. I'm in love. I'm in love. I do, fuck, fuck this palette. Don't, whatever. The fuck. <laughs> These multi-chromes are good to go, bitch. And I mean, they're drying down pretty good on my hand. And it's looking pretty good so far on the lid. What the fuck? Of course, again, longevity is key. I have to use that other green. That green looks so good. Okay, so let me just kind of take these off. Ooh, and it's a little difficult taking it off with the makeup wipe. That's great. That means it's gonna fucking stick on my face all day. So, that <laughs> so that's great. I'm in love with this. I am in love with this. This is so good. You know what? Let's kind of just finish up this look really fast. There are two eyeliners. I don't like their liquid liners. I think they suck, but we're gonna try them anyway. Fuck it, see if it works. One is like a baby blue, like a sky blue, and the other color is a brown. So I'm actually going to use the brown. Let's see if I can apply it. Do they like fix their formula on this? This is good. Okay, you know what? I know I talked a lot of shit. Uh, that was that was good. It was good. It was everything that I wanted it to be. <laughs> what? I am so impressed with this. What the fuck? Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of fruit fantasy and the waterline because pink and green to me just pop. Makes me look like a baby watermelon, which we love. And I'm gonna go back in with that earthbending shade, gingerly. I'm gonna add a little bit of Rebel Spirit, which is the Super Shock shade, kind of right in the corner. Nice like silver moment. Yeah, it's like a nice like super stark white, almost silver, which is gonna go very beautifully right there in the inner corner. I don't want it to be too much. Actually, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that air shade, which is a little bit super bright right there. I'm gonna throw on some mascara and then we're gonna work on this side. And this is what the first look looks like. I like it. I like it. Mikey likes it. I'm in love. <laughs> So the next thing I wanna do is go in, you know what, I'm gonna go in, oof. What would look good with that teal color? Green's probably would have looked really good. I'm gonna do kind of the similar thing that I did on this side. I'm gonna start with the shade Change, which is this very deep, deep navy blue. And then we're gonna use the shade water bending to blend it out. Kind of just wanted to see like how the blues and greens are gonna be. When it comes to these warm tone colors, I would say ColourPop does a pretty good job at that. What they do kind of struggle with, I feel like, is sometimes they're darker mattes. Let's just see how this goes. Okay, I went a little too wild with this one. Uh, <laughs> we are gonna clean up the lid just a little bit though. Doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna go into the water bending shade, which is the light blue. Does this have sparkles on it? Oh, it's a matte with sparkles. Okay, all right. Not my favorite. Maybe this will make it a little bit easier to blend out this matte shade. The only thing with this fucking sparkle shade is that <laughs> <laughs> it's getting everywhere Ugh, and that's super annoying and I hate it, but it's kind of having the same effect. Skipping patchiness right here and I don't know what that's about, but we're just gonna try our best. Take a clean, fluffy blending brush. Yeah, see it's the same thing. It just skips right here. I don't know what the fuck that's about, but the eyeshadow palette's not doing it for me. All right, it's a little bit better. It's just that one fucking area. So I'm just gonna place it down, kind of like stab my eye a little bit, and I'm not going to blend it out. Focus on the outer corner. I'm gonna leave that part alone. So it looks pretty good now. Kind of a pain in the ass, but okay, fine, whatever. Now we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put water all over 
the lid. This one's a little bit juicy, but this is what she looks like. So we're going to take another natural hair brush. We're going to paint, paint, paint my eyelid. All right, so just kind of smoothing out the product. It's a very, very, very thin layer. But again, it's not burning my eye. It feels very, very comfortable. So I'm just going to add a little bit more. I think when adding it with the brush makes a huge difference. I will say, I feel like I'm more impressed with the other shade than I am with this one because it still looks a little splotchy. All right, I'm just going to add a little bit more, but this time I'm going to use my finger. All right, that looks a little bit better. So this one, this one's definitely on the thinner side for sure. Maybe this one was pretty thin, but because it wasn't as jeweled as this one, maybe that's why I didn't notice it. It's not the end of the world by any means. I could see my lid, which I don't like. And that's why I don't like liquid multi-chromes is because there is just a really good chance of it just kind of pooling up and looking really streaky and patchy. And so this is the shit that I was talking about. So I'm going to just do that. <laughs> I'm going to keep my eye closed. <laughs> yeah, see, okay, so this is a funny thing. I don't notice it creasing, but on this side, yeah, it's creasing. You could see it's like a huge fucking crease. And I, I have hooded eyes, so that's no surprise there. But yeah, that's why I don't really like liquid. If I'm not a fan of it. I'm gonna pat it back out and then I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna let it dry. Okay. That looks a lot better. They do dry down pretty quickly and what helps is if you have a fan. <laughs> but it's not so bad. Didn't last too long, maybe about like a minute or two, but so far we're looking good and it's definitely jeweled and opaque. Is this as jeweled as say a powder multi-chrome? No, but it's exceeding my expectations because even when I have tried other brands and their liquid multi-chromes, still then, even if I would let it dry, it would just look like a big old fucking mess. So this is really cute. I like it. So I'm just gonna kind of just blend out. I don't know why I did that because that just created a little bit more patchiness. So that's cool. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the blues, man. I just don't think that they're really good. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to use the other eyeliner. This is a light blue. I think it should show up. I don't know. Let's see though. Oh yeah, it does. Okay. It's like a periwinkle. Looking pretty nice. It actually went on very, very beautifully just like the other one. It's not cracking. It's not fading. It looks very, very pretty. Pretty. I think what I want to do now, just put a little something in my waterline. I'm actually almost tempted to kind of throw some orange in there. I think that could be pretty fun. And plus it's sitting right here, so that helps. Looking pretty cute. And then I'm going to add a little bit, add a little bit of the balance shade down below. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that air bending shade, that yellow, on a really, really teeny tiny brush. And I'm just gonna kind of blend that out. Take a clean fluffy brush, looking pretty good. Good. I'll put some mascara on and then we're going to talk about the lip products. So I'm going to go back into that air shade and I'm just going to kind of pop it in the inner corner. I'm going to go back with that Rebel Spirit. Make it a very, very bright, 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 bright shade. Take a little brush and start to diffuse it just a little bit, not too much. So this is the second look. I don't hate it. I actually really like this. Let's move on to the lips and then wrap this motherfucker up. We have two different lipsticks and they're from the Fresh Kiss line, which I absolutely adore lately. So I'm very, very excited for these. One looks like super deep. The other one looks like more of a basic bitch color. So let's go with the super deep one because I'm probably going to take this one off. This is Partner in Crime. Not going to lie, I don't like this. <laughs> This is uh, kind of a really messy shade. So I'm just trying to like not overdo it. It kind of comes out in chunks though. This is going to be really fucking gross and I'm so sorry that I'm even saying this, but it reminds me of I'm debating if I should say it or not. <laughs> because once I say it, you're not gonna unsee it. Okay, the little bits that come out remind me of like <sighs> blood clots when you get your period. You know what I mean? <laughs> like that's what it's reminding me of. But when then you start to kind of mess it away, it, you basically have like this old woman lipstick. I don't like it. God, it's just really fucking gross and weird. I usually like this line. This is not for me. I feel like I belong in like an off track betting place somewhere. Betting on the ponies. I don't <laughs> like this. I don't like this. This is reminding me of my childhood in the worst possible way. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm getting triggered. Okay, no, this is a no for me. We don't like that one. Get this off my face now. Now. Oh, it just looks so uneven and so patchy. Ugh. All right, let's try this one. This is in the shade Loyal Friend. Oh, 
so much better so much better this is more my speed when i'm beautifully it's amazing it wasn't clumpy didn't remind me of my period or horrible memories of uh being at aqueduct <laughs> And if you're from Queens, you know uh, what I'm talking about. Yeah, this is good. I like this. I really love this formula. It's nice and smooth. Oof. Okay. This is definitely a must. All right. So I, wow. Okay. Let's, let's zoom out a little bit and let's talk about it. This is the completed look. And you know why? I actually, I'm going to shut the fuck up because this collection is really not that bad. There are some things that I think are fantastic. And there are other things that I'm like, eh, you know what? You could kind of skip it or just get it when it's discounted. So let's start with the highlighter. This is disappointing. This was disappointing. I had a lot of expectation, a lot of hope for this. And no, I mean, it looks, listen, it's an alien slot highlighter for sure. It's very, very glowy, but it has that gold overspray that is just it's fucking Joanne's craft glitter. It just doesn't look great. If you are uncooked chicken like myself, this is gonna leave a cast on you. I feel like it doesn't look so bad in this video. And you're probably saying like, what the fuck are you talking about? Granted, editing could actually show you what I'm talking about. So I'm kind of hoping it does. But if not, it's just, it's just a gold stripe on my face. It's not cute. I would say, you know, if you are fair like me and this is the thing that you were looking for, I'm not gonna work for you, baby. It's just not. Absolute shame because the packaging is like 10 out of 10. I don't understand what the fuck this is, but this is, this is adorable and it makes me sad. <laughs> It makes me sad. So we're gonna say no to that, not a fan of that. Moving on to the eyeshadow palette. <sighs> I, you know, I kind of keep going back and forth. It's not the worst thing I've ever tried. I definitely like how the looks came out, but there is just some patchiness to it. Granted, I didn't use every shade, but I did use a fair amount of them. And I wanted to stick with the shades that I knew were gonna be a little bit problematic just to see if ColourPop has done anything with their darker mattes. And again, I, there is a little bit of patchiness. So I'm not a fan of that. I like the Super Shock formula in here and that shade Air, which when I swatched it, it didn't really do much of anything for me. But when I put it in the inner corner, that shit popped. So I'm kind of excited to play around with some of the more shimmer shades in this collection. Here is another like Super Shock formula at the bottom here. It looks promising. It looks fun. Kind of can't wait to put that on my face. Um, so yeah, like I definitely think there are some moments in this palette that aren't bad. Do you necessarily need to have it? I don't know. Like, I, honestly, it's not the standout in this collection for me. If you were interested, I would wait for it to go on sale. I didn't think this was anything that was like super unique. Plus with all the ColourPop palettes you probably do have, there is probably a bit of overlap. I, unfortunately, I don't have three years uh, to swatch everything in my collection. <laughs> So I'm just gonna say that there's definitely overlap with some other fucking palettes. I think we can all agree with that. There wasn't anything super special about this. Pan embossings are pretty fun. And again, I, you know, like the overall looks, but I think I could have used any palette and I would have been fine. Let's talk about the things that are actually fucking worth it. And that is the multi-chromes. These little chrome liquid shadows, I, I they exceeded my expectations. Granted, I only have two eye holes, so I only focused on water and earth, but I cannot wait to put the other two all over my face. I'm surprised. I, I Honestly, I'm really, really surprised. So I think when I first tried the earth shade, I wanted to try this one because I felt like it wasn't going to be that great. I thought it was just gonna be like patchy and non-existent and it shut me the fuck up. It went on perfectly on the lid. I use a synthetic brush to kind of blend it out didn't really like that. Use a natural hairbrush, worked a hell of a lot better. It dried down, not too fast, where it felt like it's cement, but it dried down in a very good amount of time. I didn't notice any flaking or messiness. Like, it was perfect. I really liked the shade. I put it down on a bare lid and the color showed up. To me, that's like a fucking 10 out of 10. A lot of times with liquid multi-chromes, I find that like you have to put a base down. You have to put like a dark shadow down or some sort of a fucking shadow down for it to show up. And the fact that I didn't have to do that is amazing. Now I will say I did get a little bit of a liquid chrome on top of shadow and it definitely was a little bit more punchier, but I'm just happy to say that it looks great either way, whether it's on top of eyeshadow or on a bare lid, this shit works. I cannot get over the fact that I didn't experience any spicy butthole or any kind of weird chemical bullshit with my eyes. Usually when it comes to liquid shadow anything, I usually have the worst reaction and it usually either makes me cry or makes me want to scratch off my eyeball. And the fact that this feels one lightweight, it doesn't even feel like I have anything on my goddamn eyelid. And the fact that it's not burning my eyeball is just, it's amazing. It's really, honestly, it exceeded my expectations because I thought initially that this was going to be garbage. It's not garbage. Like this is actually fucking solid. With that said, I did try the water shade on this eyelid and it was a little bit of a different experience. It definitely came out a little bit thinner, a little bit wetter 
than I would say the Earth Shade did. And it took a little extra hand holding just to not make it look streaky, which is what I experience all the time with liquid shadows. And I feel like it's definitely due to the fact that I do have hooded eyes, right? So if I blink, shit's just literally not gonna look right. I think once I kind of got it to where I wanted it to be and then closed my eyelid and then aggressively fanned the shit out of my face, it worked out perfectly. So that would be the biggest difference between these two shades. And I kind of feel like my experience with water is going to be the exact experience with the other two that I didn't try because they were more bejeweled multi-chrome that they're probably going to be a little bit wetter and it's probably gonna take me a little bit more time to kind of just get it where I want it to be and then as long as I let it dry it's gonna be fine. I'm just beyond impressed at the fact that it doesn't feel like I have anything on my eyelids. Like that's fucking solid. I feel like I feel the eyeliner more than I do the eyeshadow which is fucking fantastic. This reminds me a lot of the Natasha Denona Multichrome. That is like just a perfect product. And I would say that to me is like S tier. This is definitely an A tier. It's very, very good for what it is. It doesn't quite hit the mark of Natasha Denona, but it comes very, very close. So if you're ever interested in wanting to try that, but didn't want to spend the money, don't fucking worry. Check out ColourPop. I cannot believe I'm saying it, but they fucking did a really, really good job on these. And I I just, I'm, I, I don't have any words. Honestly, I'm speechless. I can't wait to use the other two. I honestly cannot wait to use the other two. They're fucking good. They're good. All right. I know. I know. To me, these are the stars of the show. And I will say too, when they do dry down, they don't flake. They don't transfer. It feels very, very solid. It's just comfortable. They're incredibly comfortable and just eye safe. I know. I can't believe it either. So yeah, I would highly recommend checking those out. And then of course, the next thing I would love to talk about is the eyeliners. I never liked the graphic eyeliners in the past. I always found them to be incredibly drying and just stupid. These were great. These really work beautifully along the lash line. The tip is really, really thin. So if you do have hooded eyes like myself and you have trouble with liner the brushes are very comfortable the colors also are incredibly opaque I knew the brown was going to be fine I was a little scared that the light blue shade was not going to work out very well but over the multi-chrome I didn't have to go back and do like three or four different coats it's pretty opaque I just went over it twice just to make it a little bit more even because I'm good on this side but this side I, my hand gets a little bit wobbly that said these exceeded my expectations and I kind of can't wait to check out other graphics graphic liners. Again, I don't know if they changed the formula or if perhaps maybe the first time I've ever tried their set of liners, they were fucking just awful and dried out for me, but these exceeded my expectation. It's a nice wet formula, but it's not too wet where it runs and gets all up in your shit, ultimately just making your eye feel awful. These are fantastic. Love these. Love, 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 love them. I know. I can't believe it either. And then the last thing we have is the Fresh Kiss line. This is, um, no, this is a no for me. This is Nightmare fuel. I hate this. I hate this so much. It resonates things in me that I haven't thought about in a long time and I fucking hate it. So the partner in crime shade, absolutely not. It is messy and blood clotty and it just fucking looks awful. No, absolutely not. The other shade... <laughs> The other shade, Loyal Friend, is beautiful. It's a basic bitch color. Super creamy, super perfect, super comfortable. This is the kind of color and formula that I would just leave in my bag and just use this on the go. I love it. I also love the fact that this type of formula doesn't like run into the outer corners, ultimately making it like a joker mouth. Like this just looks perfect. I am a fan. I'm a huge fan of this. Okay, so let's recap here. Highlighter, eh, I don't think you really need it. Even if the color did work out for me, I just don't like that weird kind of craft glitter effect. So love the Super Shock formula. Super disappointed that it has that really weird overspray on it. So I don't think that's worth it. Eyeshadow palette, eh, it's all right. I don't think you necessarily need it. If this color story speaks to you, I guess go for it, but just know that it's not like the most amazing ColourPop palette to ever exist. It's probably best if you wait for it to go on sale. Liquid liners, fantastic. They're actually two really beautiful colors and the formula is really great and it's not too drying and it feels very comfortable on the lid. Yes, in comparison to the multi-chrome, it definitely feels like I have a little something on the lid, but it's not overbearing. It's fantastic. I highly recommend checking that out if you can. The lipstick, one's good, one's not. <laughs> So if you like a basic bitch moment, go for it. If you like the other color, God have mercy on your soul. And then of course, the stars of the show, the multi-chromes. I think they're definitely worth checking out. They are fucking worth checking out. They really exceeded my expectations and I honestly cannot wait to keep playing with them. And I cannot wait for them to come out with more colors. I sincerely 
just fucking hope they just get better and better and better. But so far for their first time, they're fucking fantastic. So this exceeded my expectations. I thought it was going to be a really kind of shitty, weird collection. It wasn't. There are definitely some motherfucking gems here. So yeah. Anyway, again, I want to say thank you so much to ColourPop for sending this my way. I really appreciate it. And I do have a code with the brand. If you're ever interested uh, to save $5 off, use the code <laughs> Garbage five. It's fantastic because I'm a garbage person, clearly. Anyway, uh, with that said, I would love to hear from y'all. Let me know down below if you're interested in picking up anything from this collection or if you're going to be skipping out. Let me know because I love hearing from you. And of course, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram and to my beautiful, wonderful YouTube and Patreon members. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty, but really garbagey too. Garbage boat flow. I couldn't do without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces and I just want to gobble you all up so you can live inside my belly and we can be one and we can have a grand old time. If you want to know what is currently on my face, everything that I use today will be listed in the description box down below and I'll see you little cranberries later. Bye!